things about creature adventuring in the desert. You'll always bring a little bit of the desert back with you. Sand. But me, I always bring a lot of sand back. Talk about getting sand in your shoe. <laughs> now that is a lot of sand. <laughs> you know, having all this sand in Animal Junction is great. It's like having our own beach. Where we can play beach volleyball. <laughs> Your surf, Chris. All right. Hey, let's call Zabu. Zabu! Hey, Zabu, get in here. Oh. <laughs> nice work, Chris. Zabu! Hey, Zabu! Zabu! Sandstorm's over, buddy. Zabu, my boom! Have you seen him anywhere? Hey, Zabu came in through the roof. <laughs> I'll get him a snack. There's always something good in the snack machine. What do we have for Zabu today? <laughs> I think he's found a snack already. <laughs> he always finds the tasty leaves. Don't you, Zabumafu? Zab? Uh-oh. Sand? I don't think Zabu wants to eat sand. Let's try again. Now that's more like it. Something nice and sweet. Zabu's such a good buddy. <laughs> Zabu, I have a mango. Mangoes are slimy. But Zabu loves them. Yeah, he loves all the snacks. <laughs> Simba the food! <laughs> that was yummy. How are you doing? I have a joke. Yeah. Two seagulls are flying over a beach. One of them says, caw, caw, caw. And the other one says, funny, I was just going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> Another good one, <laughs> oh, That was funny. Manga Tsika. I can't believe my mind. Animal Junction is covered with sand. Wow. Yeah, it's everywhere. In between my toes, too. Sand feels good on my toes. I like sand. Yeah, it feels good. Sand is fun to play in. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. The Mangatsika animal I saw was playing in the sand. Who could it be? Who could it be? <laughs> this animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? <laughs> this creature likes to pop out of the sand. She lives in the sand with her friends, and she loves the sand. Who could it be? This animal who I did see. Oh, Animal. She has claws. Amazing claws for digging sand. <laughs> who could it be? This animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? 
She's a sand-loving creature who's always with a friend. Do you know who she is? Good clue, Zabu. Yeah, let's review. Long, pointy face, pops up out of holes in the sand, digs holes, I know who the mystery animal is. A meerkat. Looks like more meerkats to me. You're right, there are two meerkats. Wait, make that three. Where? There. Ah, mystery animals are here. Ah. Meerkats are incredible little creatures who live in the African desert. And they love checking out everything. They're exploring the sand dunes. Meerkats exploring everything in Animal Junction. <laughs> Including me. I'm gonna call you Sandy, you Sandra, and you Sandwich. Meerkat. You don't look like a cat to me. I'm not a kitty cat. That's because meerkats aren't even cats at all. Well, what are they then? Chickens? No, Zob. Meerkats are members of the mongoose family. They're really smart little creatures who care a lot about each other. Meerkats live together in big groups of up to 30 members, and they watch out for each other too. Meerkats are very fun, very busy, very curious little mongooses. Yeah, they're trying to find out everything in Animal Junction. And I know why meerkats like being in the sand. It feels so great. <laughs> it sure does, Zob. Yay! I'll go in the sand oh. if it's shiny. Oh, I'll go in if it's gooberberry gooey. I like gooberberry. Meerkats are always on the move. But you know what I keep wondering? What, Martin? Well, meerkats are desert creatures, right? So even though there's so much sand in Animal Junction, it's not a desert. So what brought the meerkats to Animal Junction? Exactly. Maybe water. Maybe. Maybe. They might be thirsty and looking for water. All right, meerkats, to the water! Woo! Gotta be wet. <laughs> hey, where'd the meerkats go? And where's Zabu? They were right behind us. <laughs> we checked out the water and we're all wet. But the meerkats don't seem to be interested in water at all. Well, what do they want to do? Huh? Look at that. You've got paws and claws. Well, I've got hands and nails. Know what I like to do with them? Climb. Come on, let's all climb. Come on, guys, follow me. Climb, climb. Climbing's fun. Huh. Huh. I guess they don't want to climb. Well, maybe they want to leap. Come on. Leap, leap. Leaping's fun. <laughs> huh. They don't want to climb or leap. Now, who wouldn't want to do that? Maybe the meerkats want to do what meerkats really love to do. What? Dig. <gasps> Dig? Oh. See the meerkats' extra long claws? They're like mini shovels, and they're great for digging. Hey, let's dig like the meerkats. Come on, you can do it. I really dig this. <laughs> Get it, dig? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> when you dig like a meerkat, you always dig between your legs. Meerkats dig a lot to make their amazing underground homes. These homes can have 90 entrances with a tangle of tunnels connecting underground chambers. Wow, what a home. But they're not moving in. No, they're not looking for a home here. But they are looking for something. What could it be? Hmm. Maybe they're hungry. When a meerkat's hungry, he sniffs around, <laughs> sniffing for scorpions or millipedes or any other kind of creepy crawly that might be good to eat. Once she smells her prey, she springs into action. She grabs her prey, then she chows down on whatever she sniffed out. No doubt about it, meerkats are great sniffers. <laughs> they sniff? Mankatsika, I'm a meerkat sniffer. <sighs> I got sand in my nose. <laughs> <laughs> Did he say he had sand up his nose? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hurry up, Martin. I have. It's you. It's you. That 
lemur can sure sneeze. I still don't know what the meerkats are looking for. But there's one thing I do know. I'm feeling meerkatish. I feel different, not the same. This kind of feeling I can't explain. There's only one thing that I can do. I feel meerkatish. How about you, meerkatish? I'm feeling kind of meerkatish. Mama, 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 meerkatish. Meerkat, meerkat, that's where it's at. I don't think the meerkats were hungry after all. Okay, so we know the meerkats didn't come to Animal Junction for food. Right. Or for a nap. Right. Or to drink. Mm, right. Okay, so why did the meerkats come to Animal Junction? Well, maybe they came here to rest. Look, they're chilling out. They're not chilling. Heads up, they're warming up. Warming up? Martin's right. Desert nights are cold, so in the morning, meerkats stand up and face the sun. That's a great way to warm their cold bodies. Yeah, but by noon, it gets very hot. So now the meerkats really do have to chill out. So you know what a meerkat does? She digs a hole in the sand and sprawls in it on her belly. The sand is so cool that it cools down her whole body and that feels good on a hot meerkat belly. Hey, let's try it. Yeah, sand sure feels good on my belly. Yeah, they're cool and refreshing. Perfect for chilling out when it gets hot. Hey, you want to hear what happened to me once in Zabu land? Yeah. <laughs> I was leaping along, leap, 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 and I landed oof, next to Snow Lemur. He was playing in the sand. Hi, Snow Lemur, I said. Oh, hi, Zabu. You know, when I come down to Sabu land, I like playing in the sand. Yeah, oh yeah, it's cool in the morning. Yeah, oh, yeah. and it reminds me of the snow on top of Mount Sabu Mafu. Oh yeah, oh, it feels good. Oh, oh yeah. I like the sand too. Oh. It tickles my fingers. Oh <laughs> yeah, me too. Oh, the sand tickles my sides too. Oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah, it tickles my sides too. <laughs> can't tickle our sides. Oh, What's right, going on? You're right, Sabu. It's not sand. It's me. Fibby. I don't know what was tickling you. So Snow Lemur, wow. Fibby, and I spent the rest of the morning playing in the sand together. <laughs> Martin? Uh, Chris? What's that sound? Hear that? A meerkat call. That's a Mungatsika sound you're making, Sandwich. I think she's trying to talk with the other meerkats outside. I think the rest of the meerkats are outside. Let's go see. <laughs> you're right, Zob. They're talking to the rest of the group who are just outside. That makes sense. Meerkats always stick together. And talk together. They communicate with clucks, chirps, grunts, and murmurs. Meerkats talk to each other because they depend on each other. They hunt together, babysit each other's young, build homes together, and watch each other's backs. Somebody's always on the lookout for enemies while the other meerkats are off exploring. That's it! Yeah, you know what? Those meerkats didn't come to Animal Junction to drink. <laughs> or to take a nap in a burrow. Or to eat or climb. They came to explore. And with their trusty guards outside, they could play all they wanted until it was time to go home. See you later, meerkats! Yeah, come back anytime. And next time, bring the whole pack back. Incoming! Duck! Hit the sand! Whoa! Whoa! That was a nice landing. And this time? Whoa! This time it is a duck. It's a duck, it's a duck, it's a duck. With a message in a bottle. It must be from Jackie. I love walking along the beach because so many creatures live in the sand. Like this guy, a hermit crab. Hermit crabs are so amazing. They eat fruit and other things they find lying on the beach. And they live in shells that snails used to live in. They walk all over the beach, but they're never far from home. That's because they carry their homes on their back. Where 
are those hermit crabs going? Hey guys, I think these hermit crabs want to move into my castle. I love my shell collection, and I like it best on the beach, where it belongs. A beach is an incredible place to check out creatures. Yeah, you wouldn't believe how many amazing creatures live in, under, or above the sand. And are you thinking what I'm thinking? I know where they're going. To, to the, the beach. beach. They're going to the closet, they're going on a trip. They're going to the closet to grab their stuff and split. How are we gonna get to the closet with all this sand blocking the door? No problem, Chris. We'll just switch to plan D. Plan D? Yeah, D for digging, like the meerkats. <laughs> You know what's gonna happen next? I don't wanna see this. Oh. 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 Time to hit the beach. They're going on a cool adventure and they don't know what's in store. They're coming from the closet and they're headed out the door. Yes! We're here at the beach to see those amazing creatures who live in, on, and beneath the sand. Like those ibis. They're sticking their beaks in the sand and eating little creatures. <laughs> and one of the great things about sand is that it always lets you know who's been around. Sea turtle tracks. You're right, Chris. Wow. And there she is. She's heading back for the ocean. She must have laid her eggs on the beach. Sea turtles lay eggs in the warm sand. About 50 days later, the eggs hatch. The first thing the baby sea turtles have to do is crawl out of the sand. These little creatures have to crawl through about a foot of packed sand to get to the surface. The second thing the baby sea turtles have to do is scramble down the beach towards the water. They boogie to the sea as fast as they can. The hatchlings aren't the only ones on the beach. A crocodile and black vultures, too. And they're looking for dinner, sea turtle dinner. So the baby sea turtle's really have to move. I think they're gonna sneak by. They're gonna make it. He's almost there. All right, he made it. In the sea where every sea turtle belongs. The sea is the place to be if you're a sea turtle. There are a lot of great creatures out here, but you know, living in sandy places is rough. For one thing, it's hot. And for another, it's hard to find any fresh water. Yeah, and I'm thirsty. Well, you know the old saying, if you're thirsty, follow the creatures who know where the water is. Camels! Maybe a camel will lead us to one of the greatest watering holes around, Animal Junction. Let's see, uh, one, <sighs> Whew, we two, made. Uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <sighs> what are you doing, Sof? Well, look at my buddy. I counted eight legs. She's also got two big claws. A scorpion. Huh? A scorpion lives in the sand and can go for months without eating or drinking. And you know what else? Their babies don't hatch from eggs. They're born live and bright white. See them? For about a week, they ride on their mom's back until they can get around on their own. Ride on their mom's backs, just like baby lemurs. Hey, Zob. Huh? We got somebody we want you to meet. Who? Who? Mangatsika, you're huge. Yeah, he is huge. He's a camel, Zob. And he's one of the tallest sand creatures in the world. He must be one of the biggest, too. Maybe being so big and tall makes it easier for him to spot food in the desert. A camel eats a lot and stores fat on his back, which makes the hump. This one-humped camel is called a dromedary. Dromedary, <laughs> dromedary, good name. <laughs> I think I'll call him Dromeo. Over here, Dromeo. Here, want some to eat? Yeah, here, have some carrot. Yeah, oh, you have carrots, Zob. Camels love carrots. Here, have another carrot. Wow. 
<laughs> it's good, huh? Look at these lips, how they grab for the carrot. <laughs> They're like little fingers, two little fingers. Look at this, come on closer. It's so neat. Two little fingers grab it. One, two, they're grabbing for it. I better give it to them. There we go, look at those fingers grab. <laughs> Chew like a camel. A camel chews his food really slowly, moving his mouth from side to side. That's ultimate camel grinding action. Want some more? Here you go. And check out his feet. Oh, wow. They're so big and wide. Here, take a look at my feet. Yeah, they're perfect for climbing. Yeah, see, look. <laughs> hey, no, no, don't pull me off. <laughs> Crazy camel. A camel doesn't climb, but he does walk on soft, sinky sand. Which means a camel needs feet that are big and wide and all spread out, kind of like these flippers. A camel's big, round feet help him walk through the sand without sinking in. Hmm? Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Chris is the best sandwalker. But a camel is. Camels are built for sand. They even love rolling in it. Camels love rolling in the sand. <laughs> hey, Sam, you gotta try this. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> I'm rolling like a camel. <laughs> Great way to cool off <laughs> on a hot day. <laughs> and it sure helps if you're itchy, too. Oh, yeah, that feels good. Yeah, feels good, huh? Rolling in the sand. Hey, I knew somebody who liked to spin in the sand in. Oh, yeah. In Sabu land. <laughs> I was leaping along. Leap. 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 When I bumped into Noggin Drill, oh, oh. I said, hello, Noggin Drill. Hi, Zabu. Oh. Watch your hand. Oh. I'm looking for a sandy place to dig my home in. Uh, have you seen one? Well, gee, I don't know. How about over there, uh, where Goobal is? Oh, 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 oh hi. Oh. I can't dig over there. It's too hard. Goobal, show Zabu how hard the ground is over there. Well, let's see. Uh, oh, oh, pretty hard. <laughs> see, the ground is just like rock. I can't dig a home there. Well, there's got to be another place that's soft and sandy. Well, I don't know where to look, Zabu. I think I know who can help us. Oh. Follow me. Uh, <laughs> uh, go, good luck. Uh, uh. So I took Noggin Drill to see Green Puppy. <laughs> Hi, Zabu. Hi, Green Puppy. Is this a good place for digging? And she said, Oh, yes, 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 it's sandy and soft here. Hey, it's great for digging. So I said, Why don't you try it, Noggin Drill? Well, okay, Zabu, I'll give it a whirl. Here it goes. So Noggin Drill started to spin around and around. He spun up in the sky, and then he spun down in the sandy ground. <laughs> He's doing it. How's your hole, Noggin Drill? It's soft and sandy, just the way I like it. Come on in and see my new home. So I did. Oh, oh sorry, Zabu. Where, where'd he go? Where'd he go? <laughs> the end. Great story, Zab. And here's somebody else who disappears in the sand. A sand boa. Do you want to see why she's called a sand boa? Watch this. Sand boas are really neat. Like their name says, they live in the sand. And you can see how her head is shaped kind of like a shovel to go digging through the sand. Wow. Look, she's digging and disappearing. He's going, going, going. Wait, she's gone right underneath the sand. <laughs> oh my God, Sika, look, the camel's drinking. <laughs> wow. Listen to how the camel slurps up the water. And he's still drinking. He goobered me. Yeah. <laughs> that was my favorite part of the day. This animal is a friend of mine. From the tip of his nose to his climbing behind. All the friends that we met today are special in their own way. We've all got different names. 
but we're really all the same. Thanks for dropping by, we're glad you came. These animals are friends of mine, they jump and swim, crawl, fly and climb. One more thing we have to say, go make an animal friend today! Yeah! Sand is fun, but mango is better. Bye, Chris. Bye, Martin. See you later, Zabu. Keep on leaping. You know, one thing's for sure. What's that? I can't wait to hit the water. Yeah, me too. Sand always makes me want to go scuba dive. See you later, Camel. Yeah, eat as much as you want. Hello, my name is Martin. This is my pet hamster. His name is Snoopy, and he's about a year old. <laughs>